the main theme of the Bible, God's Word, is not about principles or a set of values or ethics to be learned or rules to be followed or doctrines or snapshots of God. The main theme of the Bible is a person. The person of Jesus Christ. The main theme, it's all about Jesus, a person to be known. Not simply to be read about, but to be related to. And we want you all to know tonight, whatever you've heard of the message of Christianity, whatever you've heard, we want you to know it's essentially about the love of God in Christ Jesus. And tonight, each and every one of these beautiful people who are being baptized, they have essentially met a person who has changed the trajectory of their life, and we believe into eternity. They have met Jesus Christ. The message of the Bible is the love of God in Christ Jesus. Now, please, don't hear that as some kind of soppy or sentimental message. Because the love of God in Christ Jesus is about sacrificial love. Let me read what's probably one of the best known verses in the world from the Bible. This is from John 3 verse 16. It says this, God so loved the world that he gave. Everyone say that word, gave. 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 It's costly for God to love. That he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. The giving of the son of God necessitated that he died on the cross for the sins of the world. Jesus himself said this, uh, he didn't come to bring us religion. He didn't come to bring us rules and regulations. He said, I have come to give you life and life in all its fullness. Prophets of old in the Old Testament looked forward to the coming of Christ. And one of the prophets, he announced this, he was pierced. So he, he says it as though it's already done, because in God's economy, it already was done. He was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. Apostle Peter in the New Testament, I'm going to give you lots of verses just for a few minutes, said the same thing. He himself bore our sins on his body on the tree, that's the cross, so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness, for by his wounds we have been healed. And this is what these guys are doing tonight. They've said, we've died to our old self. In Christ, because they believe in Jesus, the old one is dead, the old person. And so the right thing to do with a person that's dead is to bury them. And tonight, this water is the watery grave. But thankfully, we don't leave them dead. We don't leave them under the water. Because Jesus rose from the dead. Hip, hip. We believe that. Yes, we believe that. We believe that Jesus rose from the dead. So they've died in Christ, but now they live in Christ. And so when they come out of the water, we're saying they are new creations in Christ. Every single one of them. John says this. This is love. Not that we loved God. Hear that? Not that we loved God. God took the first move. But that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. So Jesus on the cross took the punishment that was due you and me, and by faith in his work, so we have the very cleanliness, the righteousness of Jesus that's given to us. Every one of you in this room has a big story in your mind that you play out about life. Everyone, everyone does. It's called a worldview. A perspective through which you see life. And Tim Keller, who was an amazing author and speaker, he says this. From this master narrative, from this big story in our heads, there's three things that we think about. What human life in the world should be like. What knocked it off balance. 
and what can be done to make it right. And what we say through our worldview, through our perspective is this. Human life in this world should be like this. We live a fullness of life in relationship with Jesus. What knocked it off balance? We all thought we knew better than God. It's called sin, going our own way. What's the answer? The answer that can be done to make it right is the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. That if you believe in him, you'll not perish but have eternal life. Thank you for clapping on the second row. Clearly no one else is excited, but... And each one of these guys, and I'm finishing now, that are getting baptized tonight, they've had a perspective change. They're now seeing life through the filter of Jesus Christ. Everything has changed because of him. And you're going to hear their story of how they met him. They are different people now because of Jesus. One last verse says this, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. If you enjoyed this video today, why not give it a like? Furthermore, why not subscribe to our channel as we seek to share the light and love of Jesus into your life?